I honestly feel in my heart that I should be like a life coach. Hey y'all, good morning. Today is Wednesday. Um, I'm out. I just dropped my daughter off to school. So mm -mm. I decided to come uh, to the beauty supply, to the professional beauty supply to grab the things that I need because I do have to go to the shop a little early today. So I had to go ahead and get this done before it got uh, too late in the day. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to like, thank you. This little man right here been staring me down and dunking down nuts. I'm just like, what are you staring at, Mr. Shorty Doo Wop? <laughs> I mean, stay, yes, sis, down. Okay, I was like, what is going on here? Uh, but anyway, yeah, decided to come to Dunkin'. I wanted to try their matcha. I guess I'm gonna try everybody matcha kick. Let me put on my seatbelt. So, I got a matcha, and I got this, um, so I have a matcha, I got a medium, I don't know why I got a medium, but we got to say, I told him I didn't want my matcha to be, uh, light skin. Girl, he done, girl, he done pull up over here in his orange car. I mean, just staring. Girl, boy, go on. Uh oh YT man. Anyway, this is an iced matcha latte with light ice. I got two shots of blueberry and two shots of vanilla. So let's taste it. Mm. You know what? I can keep straight in this lane. Okay. Oh, I want to Mm-mm. Now they didn't just run that light like that, girl. Yes, they did, sis. Um, it's okay. It tastes a little watered down, though. It's like I taste a little bit of the vanilla and a little bit of the blueberry, but not much at all. I don't know. I'm trying to make sure I got everything from the bottom, but to me, it's a little watered down. It's not like a creamy consistency like Starbucks. <laughs> mm. I don't know. It's good, though. Like I said, don't get me wrong. It's not overly sweet, but it just, it don't taste as creamy, I guess. I don't know, but well, it'll do. We gonna drink them. Mm. Yeah, so... I'm just going to go around here, grab the stuff that I need, go back to the house. I'm supposed to make tacos, so I'm probably going to make those tacos real quick, early, because I'm going to be gone, and I, I have three people, so I won't be back home till this evening. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go ahead and make that food for them for once, you know, my husband gets off and the girl gets out of school and stuff, you know, they can have some food. Girl, is that a cat? This ain't no cat bottle though, because I, I don't do cats, child. Mm -mm. I don't know, but it look like it's some black, like, balled up in front of the door up here. Lord knows, I don't want it to be a cat. But let me run in here real quick. I'll be All right, back. guys. This is my little OOTD for today. Those New Balance shoes, black leggings, this ACDC graphic tee from Walmart, this little sweater that y'all saw me get the other day from... Dee Dee's, my little frames here from Shein. And yeah, girl, this is my little look for today. Headed to the shop. Nothing went on today, really, y'all. Y'all know I just cooked. Um, I did a little laundry. I folded some. All of the things. I'm in a rush, so I'll see y'all in the car. All right, y'all. So yeah, I'm in the car. Um, like I said, I didn't vlog much. I didn't vlog anything at home. I showed y'all this morning when I went to the beauty supply and to dunk in. Um, but yeah, I'm headed to the shop now. I have to stop at another beauty supply, the regular beauty supply, and pick up some more things. So I'm about to do that real quick before I have to get to the shop. Um, I didn't vlog much today also because, girl, I'm almost out of storage. <laughs> I'm almost out of space. Oh, y'all are flopping and whopping. Girl, it's my being tight. Let me make sure of this. Y'all are doing a lot of moving, ain't you? Tight though. But um, yeah, I'm running out of storage, so I don't really have 
y'all a lot of room to just be like vlogging, vlogging, vlogging. So I'm like, I don't really have a whole lot going on. So it's really no need to just be, you know, vlogging for no reason. So yeah, I'm about to get up here, go do what I gotta do, go do my ladies. And I don't have anything else planned for tonight. So I might just add this in with, tomorrow, with yesterday's vlog. Because like I said, today ain't nothing going on. And I'm probably not going to vlog anymore today. So, this will probably be the end of the vlog. If y'all see me pop back in, just know I had some mess to show y'all. But more than likely, this will be the end of the vlog. So, yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow. So, this is the look for today. Happy Thursday. Um, I'm about to go out and just run a few errands and get me a massage. So I just put on this cute little casual outfit. Um, this shirt is from Walmart. I got it out of the men's section. I think it was like uh -oh, $9. And it's a medium in the men's. Leggings, Forever 21, y'all. I have about four pair of these. Medium, size medium and size large. So yes, I have plenty of these. And then this blazer is thrifted from the thrift store. And then this little purse, girl, I think I got it from either Shein, Forever 21, somewhere. But it does have a like plastic uh, chain on it. This necklace here, I believe is, um, I really don't even remember where I got this from. It's heavy. Earrings are H&M, I believe. These little glasses and the headband. So this will be my little look today. very cute now i was thinking i do have a red like faux leather jacket that i want to wear with this so let me let y'all see and tell me what y'all think the only thing is the jacket is kind of short and y'all know when i wear leggings i like to cover my butt so let's see how the jacket gonna do this is the jacket i had to bring y'all down some because i don't think y'all can see my whole outfit i still don't know if y'all can see it but this is the jacket that i did get from the thrift store it's so cute. I kind of want to wear this. But see, your butt is all out. And y'all, these leggings, they a little sheer. <laughs> That's why. But I don't know. I love this little look, though. But I know it's going to get a little warmer. And this jacket is not heavy or anything. But it's very cute. Get into it, girl. Get into it. Mm -hmm. It's real cute thrift store i have another one like this i think i showed y'all these before i have this color and then i have it on like a blue like a i guess a cobalt blue or something but the look is cute i might just take a picture in it and just put the blazer back on because i know i'm not gonna want to keep this on i'm gonna get a little high all right y'all i'm in the car and baby the red I can't, the reds really don't match this i think this is brighter this is like a i don't know another red but uh it don't matter child who gonna check me boo <laughs> who gonna check me nobody so um yeah i'm just gonna y'all i ain't got no money to be out here shopping that's i really don't <laughs> but i said i was gonna be getting up getting cute and getting out of the house so that's what we're doing but i do need to look um at some storage stuff because as you know you know the the new year is coming and I kind of want to declutter um, and, you know, get rid of some things. I want to organize some things and we just need more um, storage um, and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to go out and look for. And not saying I'm going to buy all this stuff, but I'm going to look. <laughs> I'm going to look. But um, yeah, so the plan is to kind of go look around. I think I want to go to Big Lots. I want to go to Home Goods. Um, I kind of want to go by at home too, but it'll depends if I go to all those. I know I'm going to go to Big Lots and probably like Home Goods or whatever to look in there. And then um, go get my massage. I am hungry. It's 11:16. I am hungry, but. I don't want to eat and then go get the massage because who wants to lay on their stomach and stuff after they've eaten and all of that to get a massage? No. I'm going to go ahead and get my massage while I haven't ate and then I'll go, you know, have myself some lunch or something. 
and then uh, probably come back home because I do have to go to the shop at five as my first client. So that's probably what I'm going to do, you know, more than likely is just go kind of browse those stores and see what type of uh, storage stuff they have and, you know, just kind of get some ideas of how I want to do things. So yeah, that is the plan and the goal for today. Of course, you all are riding with your girl. Today is Thursday, if I didn't say that already. Tomorrow, y'all, I probably won't be doing anything, but just kind of doing all of the clutter and doing everything around the house. It's supposed to rain. There's like a 90% chance of rain tomorrow, so I'm not going to be out in these streets, girl, um, until later, because I do have a cl some clients tomorrow. So today is why I'm going to do everything that I'm going to do, and then... And then tomorrow will be me in the house, getting my ish together in my house because I want everything like good, super clean, organized and everything for the new year. So once we go into 2024, I need to declutter. I need all of that up off of me. Cause you know, when your house is not organized and it's clutter everywhere and you got all this stuff that you don't even use and you just holding on to, you're gonna be holding on to it in the next year. And honey, I'm in the year of release. Um, what is it? I'm releasing and I'm receiving. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, release and receive. That's where I'm at with it. So let me stop in this. I got to go to the beauty spa again, y'all. I'm here again. So let me get what I need and I'll be back. All right, y'all, I'm back. I'm, I be trying not to keep just having a chatty vlog but i be having stuff to say <laughs> and i be wanting to share but um hold on but um yeah so speaking of the new year y'all i kind of want to do something different of course i'm still going to vlog or whatever but it might be a little slow down because i want to do something different i feel like i want to do something more productive or more I want to say meaningful and not saying that this isn't meaningful or anything like that because you just never know who's watching you never know who need you you never know who you know uh your videos brighten their day or help them get through whatever you know in life and stuff like that so i totally get that but i'm just speaking for like my long-term life <laughs> i honestly feel in my heart that I should be like a life coach. I should be like a motivational speaker, like a a life coach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. But for me, y'all my patience because it's like if I'm trying to help you, I'm trying to coach you through something, I want to get you through something, you have to be willing to, to do the work. And I'm not the babysitter. I'm not going to be like, oh, come on, let's no, baby, what are we doing? Come on, let's fix it. You know what I'm saying? So I guess I will get the clients that I need for me, for my personality and how I would coach. But I'm just not the, um, the babysitting type. I'm not the, I'm going to hold your hand through. No, baby, what are we going to do? So what you want to do? <laughs> what are you talking about? What we, what, you know, that's me. Like, what's the plan, ma'am? What, what we got going on? So, but I honestly feel like that, um, that that's my thing. That's my gift that's my calling i just feel like that um i've always been in you know situations where i'm helping somebody through something or motivating them inspiring you know i would say more motivating than inspiring i would say but i'm always like i'm the truth either babe i'm trying to help you get through it but like i said you have to be wanting to get through it i can't sit in the situation and be stuck with you we're not doing it <laughs> So, um, I don't know if I need to, like, take classes. I told y'all before that I've always seen myself as a, a counselor. That's what I wanted to do, to be, like, a counselor. But I wanted to counsel the people in jail, in prison. I don't know why. Because I am, like, the mind is something that I study. Like, a lot of my books and stuff that I have is, um, the topic is the mind, um, girl just managing your mind you know changing your mindset because basically you change your mind you will change your life and a lot of the times i know these things for my own self like i can tell other people this but me doing it myself it be i don't know it'd be hard <laughs> it's like 
but you notice them all and you tell people these things, but you don't really implement it. So I'm implementing all this next year. It's like, I have to step out of my box and just do the things because that's why I really feel, and that's what really excites me. So when you, you find something that excites you and you feel good and tingly and bubbly inside when you do it, that's your thing, sis. That's your thing. That's your thing. So it's just a matter of fact, uh, it's just a matter of doing the thing and a matter of, do I wanna go this way? Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. It's just a matter of doing the thing and trusting and getting out of your comfort zone and being fearless and just doing it, you know? And that's my struggle. Getting out of the comfort zone and getting, stepping out of fear to do the things that I know, like I know. <laughs> you know what I say? When you know that you know that you know, I know that that's my thing. So anyway, I'll let to say, I wanna kind of step into that um, realm or whatever. So I am going to be uh, implementing a lot of the things that you know I feel or that I learn and stuff like that because I am I do take a um, I do have a coach I do have a like a mindset coach who uh, or a life coach that you know uh, I'm in her program and it's like I am so like uh, what's the word I'm looking for it's like um, I can't think of the word I'm trying to say. It's like her energy, her vibe. Like we're, con I'm so connected to her because her thing is, I mean, she's just, she's vulnerable. So she shares her life with us. Like she tells us a lot of stuff about her life, but she uses her own life as examples to help you. And as we all know, or if you didn't know, that's what we're here for. Like we're supposed to share our vulnerabilities and our testimonies to help the next person and she is so good at that and that is where I want to be because I am girl I'm being vulnerable and sharing you know some things is just hard for me and I do understand that I'm not willing to just share everything on the internet because that's nobody's business or whatever but I just want to have me a group you know a, a, a little small group sisterhood group well, we share stuff and I just kind of help people work through things, you know, and how do you know if you can do it unless you start actually doing it and practicing the thing? So I have to get back into the habit of doing it and practicing what I preach <laughs> and what I want to do. But yeah, like I said, her, 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 her coaching class, I mean, it's, it's everything. I love it. And I pay for it. You know what I'm saying? That's how that's how into it I am. I pay for her classes. I pay for her life coaching. She does do one-on-ones, like if you just want to do a one-on-one -on -one coaching call. But this group that, I mean, the platform that she kind of has now is more of a, a, a class or a group setting. But you can always, you know, she'll coach you inside of the group too. But she's just wonderful. And it's just like, God will let you see. <laughs> and then I'm going to get off of here. But God will let you see the thing that you want so that you know that it's uh, available to you. So that you know it's real. You know what I'm saying? Because you may think, how can I do that? But God is showing me her. I'm so connected to her. I'm so connected to the way she teaches and the way that she does. It's like he's showing me her to show me, look, uh, girl. <laughs> That God, y'all ain't talking to me like that. But he like, look, she's doing it. She, I think she took like a, a class, but it's not like she went to school. It's not like she went to college. And no, she went to a life coaching school after. I'm spitting, excuse me. After she had already like had a group and all of that, because sometimes we feel like we're not qualified. And who qualifies you, but God? That's it. You don't need no degree. You don't need no nothing. Life is going to qualify us to do the things that we do. Our um, experiences that we have is what qualifies us to do the things that we want to do. So don't be looking every time. You don't always need a degree to tell you what you can do. God is going to qualify you. And so all that to say, when you see a person doing the thing that you want to do or you know in your heart that's your thing, that's God showing you, baby, you can do it too. Okay, you can do it too. So, 
Let me get off my TED talk because y'all know I'm a preacher child. I get up here preaching and I will get up here, child, giving it to y'all. See? See? That's how I know me. That's how I know that's what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> All right, y'all, let me get up here to uh, Big Lots, but don't fast forward this. Listen to the whole message, sis, because it's probably for somebody. Okay? All right. Love y'all. All right, y'all, let's go in here to Big Lots where everybody can stare me down with my camera. Driving around in California. camera. Looking for something to make me stay. Round and round forever searching. Sitting on my ass, I'm so contemporaneous in love with my behavior. But really, I could probably try and be something greater. Okay, I'm my favorite. You could tell me something different, but I probably wouldn't listen. No, I probably wouldn't listen. The word that's the ego, scared is taking over. But f it if it's fun to run my tongue up on these road fronts. But I know I could lose it all if I'm not careful. I sound scared. I hope you feel that my heart's there, though.
are cute. I love them. Girl, I had to give me a slim jam, honey. I had to give me a slim jam because I'm hungry. I am hungry. So I think uh, I'm about to go to Home Goods. Um. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> they had some cute little stuff in there. Um, I'll show y'all what I got. Y'all basically saw I got the eye patches. I mean, the under eye mask. The facial mask. I got me some more uh, cotton rounds. And um, what else did I get? Oh, and that simple syrup. So, I'm going to buy me some Tito's or whatever. Probably for the holidays. And, you know, make me some lemon drops. My girl, uh, Ken Sasha. I don't, I don't want to miss her name. <laughs> Ken, Ken, damn. Ken Sasha Rhodes here on YouTube, girl. She be making all the lemon drops. And I'm like, girl, invite me over and give me some. Because her's be looking so good. She in New York, though. <laughs> but she always making the lemon drops. And she made, like, a Christmas one. But... I want to make me some, so I want to make mine be like <laughs> less sugar as possible, you know what I'm saying? So I think I'm going to go down here and look at home goods and see what their stuff look like and then I'm going to do my massage. I'm really trying to see if I'm going to be able to make it back home. It's 12.23. I'm going to try to get to the massage place at least by 1. Or a little bit before. Get my massage for an hour. So I'll hopefully be through by 2. Go somewhere and have me a lunch. And then I may have time to stop back by the house. Um, before I have to go to the shop. Because like I said, I have to be there at 5. And I'm trying to decide, do I want to go get me some cheddars? I don't, I'm, I'm craving cheddars. I think what I'm really craving from cheddars is the, um, my fave drink, the, um, damn, I can't even think of it. The painkiller. Y'all like that drink, girl? The painkiller, that is my drink, child. So, that's what I'm thinking about doing, but we shall see. Boop, 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 boop. Christmas time, a merry sound and the stars alight. Let us all rejoice when it's Christmas time and our hope again made new. In the crowded streets calling Christmas time, the ones we meet wear their warmest smile. And from far away, we hear bells that chime Stating Santa won't be late And deep in our hearts We will carry a song Heard through the ages From angels on high In the falling snow All the Christmas lights Bring a special glow on a special night Every child awake for at Christmas time There is magic in the end It's a 
time for peace Let's give a voice to the ones in need Let us say a prayer that this Christmas time Bring the best of all in us And deep in our hearts We will carry a song Around for it's Christmas time, a merry sound and the stars alight. Let us all rejoice when it's Christmas time and a hope again. Thank you. 